the numbers do not really seem to be um, in line with what uh, the BJP really projected. So, um, what are your, what is your take on this? Ma'am, these are still very early rounds in the counting today. In a parliamentary election, on an average, there are 18 to 20 rounds of counting. Uh, I think uh, most of the places, it's uh, just the completion of the second round or maximum the third round. There is still 15 to 20 rounds of counting, uh, 15 to 18 rounds of counting left. A lot may change in that. But uh, look at it from the perspective of a party being in power for 10 years. You have no parallel in world history where after 10 years of being in power, there has been a pro-incumbency wave and a prime minister has gotten re-elected with such a large mandate. Uh, I am very confident that the Bharati Janata Party will win with a big margin and Narendra Modi ji will be prime minister of the country with a very, very comfortable victory. What about your prediction for Karnataka? How do you see the numbers there? Well, the early trends are uh, showing that we are leading in about 20 seats. I'm uh, pretty sure that uh, the numbers will only increase by at least two seats, where the, uh, the, the leads are uh, less than 6,000 and 7,000. is a uh, candidate. Worst case scenario, Karnataka many, will give 18 seats. How many and the best case scenario, over Karnataka in his will constituency? Be at 23 or 24. Because that will give us a fair idea of how the, election, or the counting is going on. Right. The curiosity also lies in Bangalore South because that has been one of the most, uh, uh, the, uh, that has witnessed one of the most uh, prestige battles there. So how do you see the numbers in Bengaluru South when it comes to your own constituents? Madam, just the numbers that I got right now after three rounds of counting is that we are uh, uh, 44,000 votes ahead. There is still uh, 17 rounds of counting left. Uh, I'm very confident that uh, the people of Bengaluru South will bless us with a very big margin. In fact, in 2019, Bengaluru Rural was the only constituency that was won by the Congress. And this time, it seems like Dr. Manjunath of the BJP uh, seems to be in the lead there. So how do you see this? Do you think that this is going to break the jinx with respect to um, Bengaluru Rural being a Congress bastion? We are very confident, Madam, because uh, the BJP-JDS alliance uh, has really benefited the Bharti Janata Party's candidate in Bengaluru Rural. In about four to five assembly constituencies in Bengaluru Rural, the, BJ, the JDS is a very formidable force. In the three urban areas, the BJP is a very uh, formidable force. So um, it is very clear uh, from the initial trends, Dr. Manjunath is leading by almost 58,000 votes, which is a considerable margin. Uh, it is a clear indication that vote transfer has happened from the JDS to the BJP candidate in the rural seats. And the BJP voters uh, and the BJP support is consolidated in the three urban seats. So we are very confident of a victory in Bengaluru rural. Uh, it is um, a big stamp of approval on the BJP's pan-India vision and uh, a vision of... Uh, uh, okay. treating and seeing the country as Some one part. Some concerns there for the BJP the coming Congress in from Karnataka.